almost 7 a.m. I don't really know where I am. I think I might be a little bit outside of Oklahoma City, maybe like an hour away. I could not make it though. I stopped driving at, uh, geez, I don't know what time, guys. I just got tired. Driving at night really sucks and it's sketchy. I saw a deer on the side of the road looking like it's about to pounce. I had to swerve past several little muskrat things. I don't know how long I've been sleeping. Maybe an hour and a half? Hour? Oh, uh, we got 946 miles on the odometer. So, today she's gonna rip. Yeah, I don't know what it is about Oklahoma. I mean, it feels like Texas already. I like it. I like how much space there is. It just has a cool feeling to it. Also, it's freezing. It's like 38 degrees. I just stopped and took some pictures right over here. You can find those on my Instagram. I don't know what those two towers are called, but they look cool. I just like the feel of this. This downtown old brick building. That's cool. And look at the clear skies too. It's gonna be a good day, guys. Let me know in the comments if anyone watching is, is from Oklahoma. Look at that, that's such a cool city. Keep left to merge onto I-40 West. All right, so the plan for today, we're going to Kirkland Air Force Base in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's where I'm gonna stay. Right now my ETA is 4.52 p.m. It's probably gonna you know, be more like 6.30ish. I only plan on stopping for, you know, to stretch my legs and get gas and stuff like that. When I was coming into Oklahoma, I saw a speed limit sign. It said 70, and then right under it, it said no tolerance. First time I've ever seen something like that. So I guess you don't want to speed in Oklahoma. I am really excited for the intake. The time has come for a pull. I've been trying to find an area where the on-ramp is flat, but Every on-ramp over here is tilted. Is that a, is that an angle? I am in sport mode, so we'll be able to hear the engine a little bit. Merge onto I-40 West. I'll start with a third gear pull. Oh, perfect! Right here. I'll I'll just wait for it to get flat. Right here. Here we go. guys this car is fast oh my goodness that was awesome first impressions uh, versus the SI if for, for those of you who are new to my channel I got like 250 subscribers yesterday when I when I posted the video of me buying the car so for all of you who haven't seen my videos before I built my channel with my 10th gen Civic SI I had a 2020 Civic SI it ended up being full bolt-on on a stage one tune I could have gone you know, could have done everything else, but I didn't. This feels faster than that. And I, you know, obviously we will find out when I get back to California, I will find a full bolt-on, favorable tuned SI to race. So we'll be able to compare. So to me, it feels faster, but I, I could be wrong. One thing for sure is that when you're shifting, it holds the boost much, much better, much more efficiently than the SI. With the SI, when you were going wide up in throttle and you were shifting, there would be a lot of turbo lag. This one is not like that. I mean, there is, you can feel the turbo slowly come on, but it comes on a lot quicker than the SI. So whatever Honda did, you know, with engineering the turbo, well, actually, I think Mitsubishi uh, makes the turbos for these cars. They did a really good job. And I don't think the fake engine sound is all that bad. Let me go into fifth. Yeah, I mean, it's it's barely noticeable. I mean, this is gonna sound a lot better when I get that intake on. The PRL intake that I ordered in the last video. It's 
Beautiful day. I'm right outside Clinton, Oklahoma. I still haven't brushed my teeth, so I'm gonna do that right now. Dude, I'm gonna sleep like a hibernating bear tonight. Obviously after a thousand miles and driving through a bunch of rain, it's dirty, which is okay. Yeah, this is gonna get a major detail when I get back. I'll probably find a way to coat these. Uh, definitely I will do a polish. I don't think it'll need a compound. I mean, it's brand new paint. And then some sort of protectant, like a some sort of seal. Ooh, I just had some Subway. I tried to find a McDonald's that was doing 24 seven breakfast, but I was unsuccessful. So now that I'm in a food coma with my foot-long steak and cheese that I had, time to hit the road, Jack. Damn, I gotta order some Sard markers. She's looking good. Getting a little dirty, but we'll clean her up when we get home, boys. It's all right. You know what I just realized? So my ETA is 5.46. It's currently 12.53 where I am. But I'm gonna end up in a different time zone tonight. I, I have about six hours to go. <laughs> which on about three and a half hours of crappy sleep in my car, that's gonna be a long rest of the day. Okay, this is what it sounds like in normal mode. This is really fast. I made a freaking good purchase, brothers. Uh, I'm coming up on Amarillo, Texas. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm at like the, the top of Texas right now. It is 2.13 here, and my arrival is 5.49 p.m. Albuquerque time. So we still have a ways to go. We have 315 miles. By the end of the day, I'll have over 1,500 miles already. I know that's probably making some of you throw up, but I, don't don't worry about it. I got you guys. I got you guys taken care of. There will be no shortage of content and in fact there will be more content and more exciting content than I have with my attention SI. Mark my freaking words, guys. I don't know why I love this scenery. I just do. I mean, there's nothing really to look at. There's windmills, lots of semi trucks. It just makes me happy. It puts me in a good mood. I lived in Texas pretty much all of 2017, and I enjoyed it there. I mean, I was in the middle of nowhere at Goodfellow Air Force Base, but I went to Austin. Oh, there's a cop. He's just freaking waiting for people. Almost got me, brother. But I will say this, what I went through yesterday, I mean, what I went through, like I'm a survivor or something, it wasn't that bad, it was just, a, it was just, just some heavy rain. That made me appreciate living in California a little more than I did before. Now, all Vivian and I have to do is make a lot more money so we can buy a house. where this is exactly I'm in New Mexico this camera is not doing it justice at all this is awesome you can't really see it too well but right over there all the way across uh, are like canyons I'm just so fascinated by this you know what I really like I really like Western movies like old shoot 'em up cowboy Western movies yeah this is just awesome Tomorrow, I'm gonna be passing through Arizona. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it to Las Vegas tomorrow night. Okay, would it be wrong if I backed up right here? I don't think so, there's no one behind me. Disclaimer, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm no photographer. That sucks, because you can't really see any of that stuff behind it. 
5.48 p.m., 6.21 ETA, I'm almost there. Look at this though. You know what I was thinking? I was just listening to a Joe Rogan podcast and they were talking about aliens. It would be so cool if I were to see some sort of, you know what, I'm just gonna, you know what, it would be cool if I got abducted by aliens. I told Vivian before I left, I said, if anything happens to me, I need you to figure out how to edit and upload a video and make sure you get my last footage that I recorded out there. She didn't like that. Here's Albuquerque. This is so interesting how in the middle of the desert there's this huge massing of people who live here and work here and have careers and families. I don't know, it's just so interesting. 